Шановні колеги. Дякую колеги. Дякую дуже багато за цю прес-брифінгу від Кеннел Лисенко. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. In the Nets and Luhansk Oblast, uh, terrorists uh, continue a violation of the ceasefire regime. As a result of that, we have casualties among uh, civilians at Shasta yesterday. Secondary school was shelled, and that was a direct threat to life of Ukrainian children. And uh, we have uh, uh, no sufferers, um, thank God, but uh, the uh, classes. Uh, it is continued to yesterday at 1830 after some firing uh, had in uh, uh, one of the central district of Donetsk, uh, citizen of Switzerland, uh, official of the Red Cross uh, uh, was killed. Uh, Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs of Ukraine expressed condolences and condemned uh, on the um, terrorists uh, who shot at the Netsk office of the Red Cross, uh, and the Red Cross are there to help people. This is not uh, the first case when uh, international organizations uh, are threatened. Uh, practical terrorists are trying to block international efforts focused on restoration of peace in Donbass because of uh, the um, death of the um, uh, Red Cross official, Pangemon. Secretary General of the UN expressed his condolences and his concern and uh, called upon uh, all the parties to double their efforts to um, uh, reach peaceful settlement. Uh, also, Didier Buchalter um, expressed uh, his um, concern with, because of the death of uh, 10 uh, civilians in Donetsk and uh, the um, official of the Red Cross, uh, he is convinced that uh, this is the only chance. Uh, uh, head of uh, OSCD uh, called upon all the parties to maintain ceasefire and uh, stick to the Minsk Accords and the International Committee of the Red Cross announced that they have a thorough, a thorough investigation in progress, um, but their investigation of death of a uh, representative of the international organization also showing up the net school in uh, Shastertown is only possible with participation of Ukrainian enforcement bodies and trilateral clearing contact group uh, with participation of uh, monitors from Ukraine, Russia, and OECD. Uh, in the course of last uh, day, uh, terrorists were most active uh, at Donetsk Airport uh, in Donetsk and uh, adjacent uh, Abdiivka, villages Piski and Olenika, Depalcevo, and around Donetsk at Nikishina, Malorlivka, Ritkodub, and town Popasna. In those districts, uh, terrorists uh, do not cease uh, fire and uh, apply artillery, mortar, uh, also the um, uh, volley uh, fire uh, units, uh, grenade launchers and uh, firearms. Uh, yesterday, Ukrainian uh, military officers uh, um, received uh, two attacks uh, and were fired from the anti-aircraft uh, units. Uh, our um, reconnaissance uh, unit identified the armor, uh, machine, armored machinery, heavy, heavy metal, and uh, infantry. And they identified the whole unit of drones uh, led by uh, Russian specialists. At this point, Donetsk airport is uh, contro controlled by ATO forces. Positions for defense of this facility are enforced. They have partial rotation of the uh, personnel and uh, machinery. Our military officers are fully prepared to um, uh, repel another attack. Uh, at in uh, the area of Neveselsky and Nisanovati district, our uh, uh, combatants uh, uh, repelled another. Um, Another attack at uh, Strahnativka. The armed forces identified uh, 
subversive uh, intelligence uh, reconnaissance group. Uh, our loss is uh, two people dead, nine people um, wounded uh, along the border. There are no violations of uh, the airspace um, or the border. At Mariupol, uh, our intelligence identified arrival of the machinery from the Russian Federation, multi machinery, and also on the now we. Uh, the units were moved from Rostov Oblast. Uh, those are military officers of 100 um, reconnaissance brigades uh, from uh, North Ossetia. Uh, they um, do um, uh, air reconnaissance with the drones. Uh, ATO forces are prepared to deter any aggressive actions. The situation at Mariupol is in full control. Uh, the, Fortifications are being uh, built and reinforced. Uh, um, subversive groups are being uh, uh, detected and um, uh, destroyed. Uh, four tanks were repaired, 16 uh, personnel carriers, and uh, two armored um, machine BTR 17, BTR 4 for the National Guards. Uh, uh, two lorries were repaired and one artillery system. And we would like to emphasize the um, um, uh, contribution of volunteers. According to the, the Ministry of Defense, armed forces of Ukraine received from volunteers and charitable organizations uh, um, tangible materials and defense means at uh, 200 million hryvnias. This is uh, 8,400 uh, armored vests, 1,600 uh, helmets, three cars, uh, 126,000 uh, um, dry uh, food packages, uh, 3,900 uh, uh, communication means, uh, 255 tons of um, lubrication and fuel, seven uh, robots uh, for the mine, and, and that uh, also uh, includes uh, medication uh, at uh, 30 million hryvnia, uh, so this is all used for the proper purpose. Um, the uh, radio transmission station of Kramatorsk uh, renewed broadcast on 12 Ukrainian TV and four radio channel. Officials of Special Services of Ukraine are doing counterintelligence against subversive groups to prevent uh, terrorist attacks and to um, prevent uh, the anti-state activities. Uh, um, they, uh, they are helped by uh, local locals on the 1st of October, the Security Service of Ukraine. Tulnova Donetsk Oblast uh, apprehended deputy head of special unit of uh, so-called internal affairs of the DNR, battalion commander of SVD Beckert. Uh, the battalion is commanded by an official special for uh, the officer from the Russian forces. Uh, at Severodonetsk, a uh, um, terrorist was um, apprehended, uh, born in 1996. He was helping uh, um, instigation of locals uh, to engage them in interstate activities. Um, and, uh, and uh, in front of the next obviously counter intelligence service BU apprehended three citizens of Ukraine who were involved in terrorist attack. Uh, three uh, of them were uh, involved in terrorist uh, activities in the liberated territories. Uh, one of them is of 1996. Uh, his uh, nickname is Kozak, uh, and he participated in the unit uh, mob uh, led by Babai and uh, attacking Ukrainian positions under Article 158, terrorist um, uh, act, uh, act uh, the criminal, of the Criminal Code of uh, Ukraine. The uh, investigation is conducted. Now uh, we register new forms of provocations where people uh, we observe uh, uh, congestion of people. Uh, provocators um, tell uh, full stories on uh, events in the ATO area. At uh, the time of a uh, visit from OECD to Shastya, they were identified. Detection of provocators uh, was uh, supported by locals, um, where people in uh, public places. Uh, we also are calling upon Ukrainian citizens in cases when you identify provocators or the suspects uh, approach uh, officers of the police. 
local police uh, or call the hotline of the security service of Ukraine. It's zero eight zero zero five zero one four eight two. And the deputy uh, had uh, assistant to state secretary of the United States of America, Victoria Nuland, called uh, Russia. Um, uh, in identical terrorism uh, extremism uh, that uh, is um, conducted by Islamic State, so-called Islamic State of Iraq and Levant, and um, called upon the international community. She um, accused Russia of uh, supplying weapons to Russian separatists even at the time of ceasefire. fire. It's time uh, to withdraw forces now and to uh, um, uh, remove the heavy weaponry, um, recognize the legal frontiers, uh, bring back uh, all the hostages, especially on the assumption of the so, uh, That's uh, what uh, uh, Victoria Nolan stated. Uh, Catherine Ashton uh, emphasized uh, that uh, ceasefire was key to reaching political consensus and settlement uh, for Sovereignty Integrity of Ukraine, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Germany, Frank Walter Steinmeier, has stated that Russian heavy artillery and the combatants should leave um, the Ukrainian territory at the Russian Ukraine border. Effective control should be re established. European Mass Service for External Activities uh, expressed their concern um, because of. Uh, um, violation of ceasefire regime and intensification of shell firing and the uh, high number of uh, victims among civilians. Prime Minister of Romania, Victor Ponta, uh, announced that Romania will support sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine and its integration with Europe. He had, uh, underlined that no third party should decide uh, in, um, um, in, in substitute the Ukrainian people in decision making. Central TV channel. Uh, what weapons are supplied to reinforce uh, Ukrainian military? Because after Minsk memorandum, there are certain uh, limitations. Uh, thank you for your question. If you read that attentively, the memorandum signed in Minsk, it has nine items, uh, and it two first items are about ceasefire. Then there are items on uh, uh, providing that after the ceasefire, both sides have to withdraw the artillery systems and heavy weaponry of the caliber above 100 millimeters are to be withdrawn to the distance of 15 kilometers because the attacking side has not ceased fire. The Ukrainian side does not withdraw its uh, weaponry and continues to hold the same positions. Uh, all the uh, weapons uh, which uh, uh, with which our military units are armed. In OSC, uh, OEC informed that yesterday's uh, shelling during which uh, the um, Red Cross um, uh, person was killed, uh, uh, that shelling was made from Uragan system. Does uh, Ukrainian forces have this system? Do, does the terrorist forces, do the terrorist forces have this system? The terrorists uh, were uh, disseminating information that they uh, seized the different uh, systems of salvo of firing from Ukrainian. We denied that information, but we explained that this way the terrorists are trying to legalize the uh, weapons which they receive from the territory of Russian Federation. And that is why we do not exclude the case that uh, the terrorists are using such systems uh, and Ukrainian um, military do not use uh, any weaponry uh, to f fire, to shell at Donetsk. There is uh, the information in the uh, internet about the possibility to exchange some territory which is held by Ukrainian army uh, to the territories held by the terrorists. According to your information, 
while the buffer zone is uh, to be established? Will there be any exchange of territories? First of all, it's about ceasefire, but the issue of also the exchange of the prisoners, these are the main uh, things uh, which uh, the Ukrainian military and uh, uh, international observers are monitoring, especially uh, this uh, ceasefire regime, which is in place uh, since the 5th of September. It's the 5th of October soon, but we cannot say that the groups of terrorists are really observing the ceasefire regime. Uh, the main uh, uh, positive thing about that uh, uh, ceasefire regime, which is observed or not observed, uh, is that we managed to get our hostages and prisoners uh, back, and we also managed to liberate our peaceful citizens who are held hostages by the terrorists. The exchange of territories is the distorted information which is just taken from some uh, um, statements made by uh, some of the politicians and the representatives of so-called Donetsk and Lugansk republics. All our military are at their positions and there's no order issued to leave these territories. We are observing the ceasefire regime in reply to that, uh, we uh, and we um, fire back only if there is a threat to the life of our military and uh, our army is not attacking. You were talking about reinforcement uh, by Russian forces uh, in the east. Is that some rotation of the uh, forces or? Are they accumulating additional forces to hit uh, Ukrainian forces? If we take uh, as an example the Donetsk airport and the attacks do not stop there from terrorists, uh, we can say that combatants uh, are organizing the 17th mobilization to uh, add people uh, into their ranks. With every day, it's more difficult for them to do that because there are no people willing to die uh, in Donbass uh, if the territory comes from, if the person comes from some other territory. There are fewer people who want to die in Donbass, and we hope that uh, another side will stop doing it, and they will agree to, and they will agree and start executing the terms of the Minsk agreement. There's no rotation. You can rotate uh, uh, people uh, adding, sending live, uh, living people to those who were killed. Uh, what about Crimean direction? In Crimean direction, the situation is still stable. We see that Russian military do not leave the uh, front positions, they stay where they are, but there's no movement uh, towards continental part of Ukraine from Crimea. And back to Donetsk airport, there are many uh, stories in the internet. Is the information approximately how many uh, personnel and how many equipment was destroyed uh, uh, of uh, the enemy. There is a lot of information disseminated by combatants who were there. According to them, these are hundreds of uh, people killed who were trying to attack the airport, but we do not have exact information and we are not ready to confirm this data. Any other questions? I have a question. The international organization Amnesty International again stated that the responsibility for the victims among uh, peaceful uh, population is uh, on the terrorists and Ukrainian military also who cannot uh, 
uh, just uh, calculate exactly exactly where to hit and they accuse both sides uh, in using weapons in this case we need to look at the motivation ukrainian military for ukrainian military there's no sense to shell at peaceful quarters even if there are some bands uh, and groups of terrorists there and for the terrorists there is a sense to do so they are trying to demonstrate that this is done by ukrainian military they are trying to accuse ukraine in that for you to understand those who are defending Donetsk airport they are saving the ammunition and everything they have and uh, they use that m only if there is a, a direct attack on them. There's no sense for them to shell at uh, the residential quarters because they are planning to liberate them. Thank you. And the next press briefing will be at 12.30 tomorrow, and our next press briefing will